Canada. Hello and welcome again to another review. In this video, I'll be looking at a half scale mini helmet. This is the Arai GP6 helmet Lewis Hamilton used at the 2012 Singapore Grand Prix. The 2012 Formula 1 season was quite a spectacular one. There were six world champions on the grid that year, with Michael Schumacher, Fernando Alonso, reigning world champion Sebastian Vettel, the returning Kimi Raikkonen, and the McLaren pairing of Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton. The start of that season was also very promising, with seven different winners from the first seven races. When the Formula 1 circus travelled to Singapore in late 2012, the championship battle was beginning to take its final shape. It looked like the main contenders for that year's title would be Alonso in a pretty bad Ferrari, Vettel in a Red Bull car on its way to its absolute peak, and McLaren's Lewis Hamilton. McLaren had the best car on pure pace, but driving errors and mostly operational mistakes meant Lewis was lagging behind in the point standings. Hamilton, however, took a convincing poll at Singapore, his McLaren against seemingly the fastest car that weekend. This was his chance to make up ground in the championship battle. At the start of the race, Lewis remained in the lead. After the first pit stops, he rejoined in the lead once more, with Vettel having to scrap with the Lotus of Raikkonen who still had to stop. Once he found a way past the Lotus, Vettel gave chase to the leading McLaren of Hamilton. On lap 23, however, the Britain's title hopes were dashed when his gearbox gave way. This was his second mechanical retirement that season, and another one in a long list of things going wrong at McLaren that year. This disappointment partly led to Hamilton growing frustrated with his team, and eventually switching camps to Mercedes, a move which led to a lot of criticism. But we all know now how well that move turned out. So for that race at Singapore, Lewis decided to use a special helmet design. This was becoming more and more of a trend at the time. Well, nowadays it's actually rather special if you turn up with the same helmets design as used in the previous round. Anyways, the helmet Lewis used uh, that particular race was very nice in my opinion. In fact, I think it's Lewis's best ever helmet. He changed the main color to grey, which I think looks very clean and worked well with the McLaren Mercedes livery. So this half-scale version of Lewis's Singapore helmet was released back in 2013, I believe, even though Lewis had already moved to Mercedes at that point in time. So it came in this uh, Vodafone McLaren Mercedes branded box, with pictures of the mini helmet from the side and the top angles. On the sides of the box then there is all of the helmet info, so half-scale model helmets, Lewis Hamilton 2012 Singapore Grand Prix, limited edition of 250 pieces. This mini helmet was produced by KC Sports International, but commissioned by Sports Mini Line, a subsidiary of Bell, even though it is a mini replica of an Arai helmet. As you can tell from the pictures on the box, the helmet came with a clear visor, and this was rather special at the time as most mini helmets had these dark tinted visors. They use a clear one on uh, this mini though as standard, as most drivers use the clear visor for the Singapore night race. At the time of release, clear visors for the mini helmets weren't as readily available as they are nowadays, so this made this helmet even more special. Let's then have a look at the helmet design now. As I said in the previous segment, for me this is Lewis's best helmet. The grey base layer has some uh, glitter particles in it. In fact, the green, red and blue colored bands on the sides also have this uh, glitter effect in it. I also really like the smaller details like this uh, fluo red outline on the red parts. And also a bit on the green here and at the back. And also these uh, fading gold accents on all the spiky bits. The gold used on this uh, mini helmet is actually a bit too dark, the real helmet had a lighter almost yellowish gold on it. In the red band on the sides, this moon and stars come from the Singapore flag. 
In the blue part then there is this uh, LH logo Hamilton used at the time. And that logo is in fact inspired by Belgian tech company Lernout & Huisby, which went bankrupt after a huge fraud scandal. In the meantime, Hamilton has changed his logo to this more well-known V-shaped thingy. I also like the Johnny Walker logos on the sides of the helmet. The white Vodafone band then is actually pearlescent white, which again looks really nice, uh, with the same fluo red outlines like on the red bands. On the top then there is this majestic Merlion, I hope I pronounced it correctly, which is uh, nicely incorporated with the Mercedes logo at the front. And this Merlion is in fact the official mascot of Singapore, and it's a medical creature with the head of a lion and the body of a fish. So yeah, there you go. At the back of the helmet the Merlion is again present, but now a bit more hidden in this fading red part. On the top of it there is another red band with Hamilton's name in it. And then a big array logo at the bottom in between these green parts. Finally, on the right side of the helmet only, there is this uh, JFL Designs Painters logo. And it has its uh, fluo red outline, but uh, should in fact be uh, black and have the inscription 1312 next to it. The rest of the helmet features the same sponsor logos mandatory for the McLaren drivers at the time, like uh, the red Santander, Mobile One, Hugo Boss. Vodafone and then the Johnny Walker on the visor strip. The mini helmet also came with a green interior as standard, which uh, looks really cool I think. And uh, well, this is a nod to uh, Lewis's hero Ayrton Senna, who uh, also had this uh, green uh, lining, as you can see here from this uh, mini helmet. You might have noticed I did a few modifications to this mini helmet, so let's have a look at them. And I'll start with the most obvious one, which is the Xylon panel on the visor. And this was mandatory at the time, after the accident of Philippe Massa in Hungary 2009. Nowadays, the Xylon panel is of course integrated directly in the shell of the helmet. And this add-on was professionally painted to match the mini helmet, and looks really great, I think. I've then also added the rubbers on the side of the Xylon strip, together with the earth leakage parts underneath the visor screws. Some tear-offs were added too, together with the uh, silver grey tension posts for it. And then a small brass pin then has also been added underneath the visor here. On the top then these uh, three air vents were added. And then the hands rings were replaced with these more realistic ones. I then also replaced the rubber on the bottom, as there was quite a lot of bubbling visible. Actually the same kind of bubbling is uh, also still visible at the eye port, but luckily it's hidden a bit by the visor when it's closed. I would also like to point out the uh, air vents on the front of the helmet, and this is not a mod that I've done, but a bit of a criticism towards the newer helmet releases. As you can tell, the vents are real holes here, with a fine mesh behind it. And nowadays they just cut corners and use stickers to mimic those vents. Shame. This mini helmet has been in my collection for quite a while now, and I can truly say it's one of my favorites, even though I'm not particularly a Lewis or McLaren fan. I really like how different it looks from Lewis's regular designs from those days and at the same time also still be recognizable as a Hamilton helmet as well. The Merlion on the top is really nice and the grey combined really well with the McLaren car colors. I'm also very pleased with the outcome of adding all these upgrades. They really finished this beautiful mini helmet off. So yeah, what do you think about this helmet? Let me know in the comments below or tell me which one of Lewis's helmet designs is your favorite. So yeah, this has been my review of the Hamilton 2012 Singapore Grand Prix Mini Haskell Helmets. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Be sure to check out the other videos as well. Take care and I'll be seeing you again in the next one.